Uh, not not really for you because we have to get it looked at tomorrow. We would, uh, I'll just leave it there. We'll know. We'll have a really good idea tomorrow. Vladimir Tarasenko making a big impact in a second game, three points, two goals. What did you like oh, most this, about what you saw from him? How smart all three of those guys are. I mean, they're, they're not very far apart. The anticipation of where, where the puck's going to go next, but they were never in a position uh, to give something up. There's almost no risk in their game for, for highly skilled offensive players. They were just right on both sides of the puck. So that's exciting for us. Guys have talked about this being a physically demanding system, and it seems like he's buying in right away. Yeah, it's, a hard, it's hard to play the game that we play. Um, which means when the schedule gets stiffer, it's it's more of a challenge. And I thought that was there tonight. I think, and then it wears on you mentally. So, um, got physical. I didn't. We weren't really excited about our start, but we needed to get physical. And Vlad's got the first hit there, and that kind of started things for us. And then we got better. We were better in the second period. And you know, I mean, our goaltender was fantastic tonight. Stoli. I, I, as a coach, you, I mean, you're really happy your goaltending's not good, but you hate having to have goaltending. That that's good. But at the end of these stretches and blocks of games that we play a lot of, you need a special performance. Usually, that a one aspect of your game. And tonight, our goaltending was special. And Forsling obviously having to suck up some more minutes. Yeah, I mean, he's just been. I don't know. At the end of the game, he looks as strong as he does at the start of the game. It looks like he could go another. But he probably could. He's such a fit man. Um. And, and you just trust everything that he does. So that's why I mean, the, the enthusiasm for a player like that signing with the team, because you just see it every night. You see it in the hard areas, and when you, in the games that aren't easy, when you lose the defenseman, and he's blocking shots, and he's closing out plays, and he is so very, very consistent. And then, yeah, he's safe. So you know, like his kid sleeping in his and arms, right? Right, yeah, yeah. right? That's just like the rest of us on the bench when he's you know defending. Everybody can have an app. Um, and, and a little bit back to, to, to Ekblad, the collision. Was that yeah. a little bit about Tarasenko being in a second game and just not? No, ekki has got to get out of the way. He's a big, good skating man. It's just the speed of the game. It's just an accidental. Yeah. Well, I know it was accidental. There was no was set. No, you know, it was just it's one of those unusual plays. Yeah. Nothing. I mean, the first four periods of Tarasenko's career as a Panther, it was all about making good reads, making good defensive reads, and then for his first goal to come off of getting his stick in the yeah. passing lane there and getting a good shot off there, is that kind of a good way to get things started for him? It's a good way for the players he's playing with to get to know him because both Barkoff and Reinhardt, we've, you know, you and I have talked all year about, you know, these are special bright guys, and he can think with them and talk with them, and they're on the bench and they're talking all the time. So it'll be interesting to see where they can take their game. I think they're all capable of, of being really good, very impactful in against elite talent. I mean, that, that's, a, that's a special line. Could you express maybe what Barkov, what he brings night after night? Um, and, and we talk of the top line and, and Yeah, I'm going to say it's just he, he's just powerful man. And he, oh, there isn't a piece of his game that, that you hide. So he's going to be the guy on the ice on the left hand and on his weak side when you're killing a penalty, when you need to close a game down. He's the guy who's going to be on the ice, um, either face-offs if you're defending or you're, you need one. And he's going to play against the other team's best, and both coaches kind of want that. I want Barkov against their best, and they know they have to play there against, against him. So he carries the big weight down the middle. Do you want to see Tarasenko, like, you know how he is on this first line now. Yeah. Do you want to test him on other lines before the playoff start, or are you kind of content with how he is with Barkov and Reinhardt? Yeah. Uh, I want to give them enough time, right? Uh, we've, I know what Verhage looks like there. Um, clearly, we, you know, Tarasenko, Bennett. But, but some of it is a feel, right? There's styles of game, and that, that – Verhage's really good with Bennett, and it's just the speed kind of chaos. And, and Matthew's so good at reading that. There's nobody better. No, I'd like to leave him there and, and, and let him run for as long as he can, get as much time together as possible. I mean, you won't know what Rodriguez's status is until tomorrow, but is it good to have a guy like Kyle Oposo uh, coming in who can play those third line minutes and still has that kind of skill? For sure. The, uh, the idea, and this is 
for for where we are right now, but the end of this month, the start of April, are so heavy. We're going to lose bodies. We are, and and that's why the depth was important for us. But also, some having a guy that can come up and play up the line has in his career. There's a pressure to it, right? And there's a a confidence to it when you have a, to play in the National Hockey League at a high level. So he's played there before. And OEL with uh, with Forsling he had to go with that route. Yeah, they, 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 that Early. one's a pair, right? That's right. a two. It, they're both veteran guys, even if they didn't play together. But the, the two of those guys together now are, are very comfortable. And Ekblad, I, mean, I know, but it looked like his left knee or, or a knee, whatever. Um, he's had problems there before. I mean, he's going to be he's going to be okay. He's okay. Okay. So, I, guess. I don't know when he's coming back. Might be practice Monday, maybe a little bit longer. I'll give you a real good answer Monday. Okay, but okay. I don't have to worry. You're going to be okay, George. I am. I am. We're going to let you in. Cool. Thank okay. you.